eighth day creation. It has been taught that all humankind came from one man called Adam and his wife Eve. Well, are you teaching evolution? For you see, that's what that kind of teaching is. That is going against the teaching of God in the Bible. In Genesis it reads, seed after seed and kind after kind. So make up your mind. In the book titled The Eighth Day of Creation, it is written that the biologists discovered DNA in 1953. They were experimenting how to create life forms and trying to show that human DNA was the same kind as animal DNA. In addition, of course, they failed. The seed after seed and kind after God, God said. In the book titled Evolution and Genetics, The Modern Theory of Evolution by David Murrell, they tried to prove that all humankind came from or evolved from one specific race of people. But that also failed. They tried to show that adaptation to different climates could change skin color and facial features. This also failed. They tried to say that if a Caucasian person lived long enough in a very hot climate, their skin color would eventually turn black. Well, maybe from sunburn, but it would not be permanent. In addition, that would not cause their offspring to be black. Only if a black person and a Caucasian were to have offspring together could that happen. Moreover, if after that it would take four generations to clean the bloodline back to the original of one race or the other. That is the true meaning of the word bastard in the Bible. How do I know this? Well, I looked it up. God said seed after seed and kind after kind. Now we do know of one person who has tried to change the color of his skin and has done a fairly decent job of it through drugs and so forth and has had many surgeries to change his appearance but it hasn't changed his DNA. Do you know that the Bible tells us about the same types of experiments were being done back in the days before the flood of Noah? Even cloning? In the book of the Spear of Destiny, written by Trevor Ravencourt, there are some chapters that deal with these types of experimentation uh, that, that happened in the land of Atlantis, trying to create a perfect race. In the book of Enoch, which is a book we will be going to later, these are called the Rejected Mysteries. Nobody will ever do it like God did. They will never take the place of God. Read these books that I've mentioned, for in the not too distant past, one greatly feared person also tried to create the perfect race. Read these books sometime. There's nothing new under the sun. The biologists of today are experimenting around with cells and DNA from worms and cockroaches trying to discover the fountain of youth. This was on the national news not too long ago. Will Rogers is quoted as saying, A scientist is a man who can find out anything and nobody in the world has any way of proving whether he found it out or not. And the more things he can think of that nobody can find out about, why, the bigger the scientist he is.